In our last episode. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? Let's keep going. Alright. Doctor probably did a better job of fixing my arm up than I did. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she left. Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, mm -mm. the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Yeah, you feel like a dick now, don't you? Ass face. Shooting me. Can't even, do you even mean to shoot? I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What did I Fernando? I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat. Which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. <laughs> I'll give you the benefit so of the But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while... You'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Thanks, Carlos. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. Thanks, homie. Oh, you know you're starving. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. <laughs> Cars, they're way cooler than stumps. I don't like you. Well, I thought she'd be my friend, but all my friends die. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. What's up, jerk face? Stinky llama bastard. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was aggro. definitely not cool. <laughs> Fucking gamer. <laughs> Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. <laughs> you were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just uh, we had a bad experience once. Doesn't mean to be a douche. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. Yeah, it was probably your fault, Nick. We thought we could control it. I have a feeling you're a fuck up. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway. Hopefully you understand. Bad things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Oh, I can't even handle out. this. 
Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. That's my dude. God, you're my friend, but I know later on you're gonna let me down. So, my dog let me down. Me. Lee died. Chris is gone. Omid's dead. Me. Kenny. I didn't like Duck. I mean, I assume Still what Duck. What happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. It's just the smartest advice you can give everybody. I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle I of the I like him too. Yeah, to Which means he's gonna also get die. Get your winks while you can, cause we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner. <laughs> Love a brookie. Yeah, Two fresh brookies at that? <laughs> Come on. Hey. He was a b he had my back from the beginning. I like him. Gonna eat my noodles. Love it. Oh, you're still here. This bitch. Oh. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. I'd shut the fuck up if I were you. Yeah, whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's right. just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Suck my dick. God, she is awful. Just all kinds of awful. Makes me angry how awful she is. I want one more. I want more Povich to have survived and just walk in the room. Uh, Post zombie apocalypse. Mori says you are not the father. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night. That's for sure. <laughs> How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Yeah, that's the gun almost shot me because you were sons of douche. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Probably. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. 
came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. What a baby. Hey! <laughs> why didn't you wait? Punk you ass pants. <laughs> while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. So yeah, Rib. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. <sighs> yeah, I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Let's just get to the river. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <laughs> Family dynamics. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. Man. You should tell him that. It finds Counselor Clementine. Uncle Pete! <gasps> I guess we'll find out what's at the river next yeah. time!